Hello, welcome to a trial run of the Something About Yarn podcast with a different camera. <laughs> so um, I, if you've been following me on Instagram, you might have seen that I really, after, especially after last week with my iPhone not really doing what I wanted it to do, um, yeah, I wasn't happy. <laughs> so hopefully this one will work better. Um, it's doing a lot of autofocusing and stuff right now and shifting around, so I don't know. But we're going to try it and see how it goes. So anyway, um, welcome to the podcast. My name is Annie, and I am a knitter, knitwear designer, and yarn dyer living south of Atlanta, Georgia. And I don't have a whole lot to talk about this week, just because, I mean, I'm, t- I'm on a bi-weekly rotation right now, which is a good pace for my, like, my knitting time, um, like the time that I get to knit, actually. And I, I don't, if I do it every week, I don't really have a whole lot to talk about. But anyway, I still wanted to do an episode with this just to see how you guys like the different camera setup. Um, I'm also doing the audio a little bit differently. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. And if you guys like it, then I will record a full episode next time like this. So um, I do have a little bit of stash acquisition, one skein to talk about. So I'll go ahead and um, show that. Um, I wanted to do it because I want to see, you know, with the new camera, how it works showing stuff up close and, you know, really it's a mini episode. It, it ha- it'll it have like the, the content of a full episode as far as the different parts, but be a lot shorter. So anyway, if I can keep from rambling. Um, so anyway, yeah, stash acquisition. Um, I saw on Instagram that a dyer that I have been following for a while is, um, closing up shop. She's just moving to a new chapter in life, which is exciting, but also I've been stocking her yarn for a while and um, meant to get some. So I thought, you know what, I might as well go ahead and do it. So I did. Um, This is what I came away with. So this is Fuse Fiber Studio um, in her apiary colorway on Merino Singles Base. Let's see how that, there we go. Look at that focus the colors (laughs) so yeah um it's absolutely gorgeous I love it I've been kind of thinking about doing more with single ply yarn so I thought well so yeah I'm really excited I love these speckles and just all the different colors and oh my gosh like seriously I really I I don't think all the colors will show up like perfectly but hopefully you can get a feel for it um so yeah that's my stash acquisition for this week um I've been doing really really well and not buying a whole lot of yarn since I'm on a budget (laughs) but um I I I couldn't resist this one so I think I may pair it with a semi-solid um that I dye myself um because I have some a few skeins from Annie Yarn first time around in a single ply base very similar yeah 400 yards superwash merino so I should be able to pull something that I dyed prior um and put together a really cool two-tone kind of thing so anyway yeah stash acquisition um oh real quick I'll cover what I'm wearing I know I'm doing this all out of order but like I said I'm kind of trying to be quick about it and you know plus the battery button or uh, light on my camera just started blinking even though this is a fresh battery Anyway, <clears throat> real quick, what I'm wearing, um, I'm actually wearing my Scarlet's cardigan, which you can't really see very well because of how I have the camera set up, um, but it's on my Ravelry shop. It's one of my best-selling patterns, and it's a little bit nippy with the windows open today, which I love. Focus. <laughs> it keeps just like... Anyway, here we go. <laughs> really weird talking to a camera thing that just keeps like moving on its own but anyway I just thought it'd be fun to wear this on the podcast because I don't think I have and it's now it's saying it's not focused trial and error guys I'm gonna get it (gasps) (laughs) what is it doing now it's saying it's in focus I don't know (laughs) anyway so yeah that's what I'm wearing today Okay, now I'm going to cover my progress really quickly on the shawl that I showed last week. It's the Cinder Rose Shawl um, Test Knit for Kalora Hudson. And I have made, oh my gosh, I can't even 
So I think when I talked about it last time, I was somewhere back here. That'll hopefully. Um, I've done all of this. And from this marker right here is just from today. So that's kind of, that's what I'm working on. Um, I, I knitted, I think, from all the way back here somewhere yesterday because we were really slow at work. So I just, to keep from driving my coworkers insane with boredom and running my phone battery down, <laughs> I just sat and knitted. Um, we went for a long time without anybody in the store. So um, we, you know, would do some cleaning around the store and sit and knit. I would sit and knit. They don't knit. But anyway, yeah, so I am past the halfway mark. And very quickly, I'd probably say I'm at the probably two-thirds mark. So, but um, yeah, hopefully this will show up better than it did last week. Okay, silly. There we go. Yeah. So there it is. I cannot wait to have this done because it is going to be awesome to wear at the store. And my coworkers are all drooling over it, so... Well, the, the ladies are. The guys aren't. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't really have anything else. I've been very monogamous on this shawl. I know last week I had just finished the cardigan, the short sleeve cardigan that I did in Cameo Yarns. Um, I still need to block that. And the red cardigan that I knitted once upon a time in um, Malabrigo. I'll bring that back once I've blocked it. Um... Yeah, that's all I've been working on. I'm looking around my office to see if there's anything else I was going to talk about. Um, the only other thing that I can think of is this right here. This is my campsite cardigan that I started in, I believe, 2016, I think it was. I really want this, and as you can see... I'm on sleeve island. I'm almost done with the first sleeve. But when I was knitting it, <clears throat> I unintentionally did not swap the right dye lots. So hopefully this camera will pick it up better than my other one, the, the phone. I don't know if y'all can see that. Oh, come on, focus. <laughs> Testing. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's a definite line going across it. And I was fine with it at the time. I didn't really care. But now, as I look at it, it really bothers me. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm trying to decide if... Because here's the thing. Now that I have a job, as I've mentioned, where I can wear stuff like this, I'm not like in scrubs or a, you know, like a work t-shirt or whatever... I want to knit things, practical things that I can wear at work and be classy, warm, and comfortable. And I just, around the house, I think this would be fine. But that really is, I hope you can see that, a really big color difference. And I don't, I don't think I would want to wear it at work. So I'm considering my options. I did think about actually over dyeing it. <laughs> Um, just tossing the whole thing in a big pot of dye. Ooh, the wind's kicking up outside. Storm's coming. Um, yeah, I thought about finishing it and just plopping it, but then you would lose all the really pretty natural variegation. I hope that's in focus. It's saying it isn't. Let me try putting my finger in the focus box. There we go. And, you know, that comes with kettle dye, like all the, the subtle variations. So it, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess we'll see. But I just want to talk about that and try to show it on the podcast as a test. So anyway, um, oh, there was one other thing. So I was looking at my dashboard for the podcast and I realized that um, in the next, I don't know, not too distant future, I guess, um, I should be hitting 100 subscribers. Um, I'm at, I think, 70-something right now. So when we hit 100 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. Um, 
I'm pretty sure last summer after I was at Stitches United or Stitches South, whatever they're calling it, um, I showed the little goodies that several dyers gave me at, for giveaways, and then I stopped podcasting. <laughs> Just, yeah. Anyway, so, but I wanted to go ahead and say that as soon as I hit 100 subscribers, I will be posting up, posting up, I will be running a, <laughs> um, a giveaway here on YouTube to celebrate. So yeah, um, share the podcast with your friends, with your knitterly friends, your knitting group, your yarn store, whatever, you know, people you know that like to see all the pretty yarn and the knitting and don't mind somebody who sometimes has a faux hawk yapping at you through a, a camera screen, you know? So, um, <laughs> but yeah, um, 100 subscribers, giveaway. I'll choose one of the goodies, probably do like a little random thing where I flip a coin to see which of the three goodies will be in this giveaway. And I can do that all on the podcast to make it a little bit fun. Um, and then choose a comment on YouTube. So um, don't start commenting yet. Just start sharing the channel so that we can hit 100 subscribers and then we'll start the giveaway. Yeah, I totally talked about that backwards. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing the little blinking light for the battery, wondering when it's going to cut off. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, stash acquisition, what I'm wearing, work in progress, possible tink, not sure. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think, like, about the card cardigan, the, um, the brown one. Tell me what you think. Um, if you have any ideas for what I could do to repurpose the yarn, it is DK weight. And my job is in a business professional atmosphere. So um, I love the campsite cardigan. Alicia is a dear friend. I'm just not happy with how I did the yarn with that. Um, I should have tinked back to about halfway and, and mixed in the other skein and fixed it at the time, and I didn't. So not at all the pattern, it's me. It was, it was, all, it was all me. So I just kept forging ahead and learn from it next time. <laughs> I will learn from it next time. So yeah, um, that's it. So. Thank you guys for bearing with me while I work with this new camera and everything and the audio. <clears throat> Hopefully everything shows up well. I will find out in post-processing. So, yay! And if not, I'll be just back to my iPhone setup next week for a full episode, hopefully. Um, it may be another short one. I don't know. Um, just depends on what the next week holds. But I, tend, I, I, I intend to finish the uh, test knit um, this week and get it blocking. And then while I'm at it, I may just go ahead and tackle some other blocking stuff that I have. So if I do, I'll like, you know, include that. So anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with me and I will talk to you next time. Happy knitting.